So you just got a new hot tub and now you're thinking about where you're going to put it. Well, pouring concrete can sometimes be really expensive and you might not already have a concrete back patio big enough to put your hot tub on. So you're looking for alternatives that are less expensive. I have mine currently on a wooden deck and hot tubs can work great on a wooden deck if you know what to do structurally or how to reinforce an existing deck. But today in this video, we're talking about whether or not it's okay for a hot tub to sit on paver stones. Paver stones, as you probably know, are those inexpensive, usually square foot stones you can get at Home Depot, maybe a couple inches thick, and they're only about a buck fifty each. They're very inexpensive, and they can be a great way to go in terms of putting your hot tub on something. You can put them right on the ground. Usually you just have to prepare the surface. Ideally, you'd dig up the grass, you'd put down a layer of gravel and then a layer of sand, and then level it out and put the paver stones down. But I've done it even cutting more corners than that and it's very inexpensive compared to concrete. It's just really, really important that you make sure that the hot tub is level, and specifically I mean the stones before you put the hot tub on it. You want that patio made of paver stones to be perfectly level. I'm going to tell a story in a minute about my previous house where I did have my hot tub on pavers and I didn't go the extra mile in making sure it was perfectly level first. And you're going to want to hear that story so you can avoid some of those same pitfalls. But let's get back to talking about paver stones right now. So concrete is going to cost you about 800 bucks at least to pour a 10 by 10 square foot pad. And that same amount of space can be done with pavers for about a buck fifty, plus the cost of the gravel or the sand if you're going to go that route. So it's much less expensive to use pavers than it is to pour concrete. That's one of the reasons that it's a very popular solution over concrete and other kinds of ways to put down a bed for your hot tub. Also, the low absorption rate of paver stones compared to a traditional poured concrete slab makes it really great because it's going to be resistant to a lot of the common problems that can happen with poured concrete. Uh, it's something called effervescence, I believe, which sounds like something that would happen in your beverage, but basically it's salt scaling and the concrete can end up flaking and, and, and kind of tearing off in small little thin strips. And paver stones don't have that problem because they're, they're not nearly as porous as regular concrete is. And that's a great way to go since you've got hundreds of gallons of water inside of here. Anyway, let's keep going. So I mentioned I was going to tell you a story about my last house. This hot tub was here when we bought this house about a year and a half ago. At our previous house, I had bought a used hot tub on Craigslist, fixed it up, and then moved it to a bed of pavers that I had put down. I already had the pavers somewhere else in the yard, but I kind of dug out an area just for the hot tub, moved the pavers there, and I didn't take the time and the trouble to do it the right way. The right way would be to use a shovel and kind of dig out the area, remove all of the grass and the layer of topsoil, get it as level as possible, then put down a layer of gravel and then pour sand on top of that and tamp it down to where it's nice and compact and perfectly level. That would be the ideal way to put down paver stones and then put the hot tub on top of that. But I didn't take that time and that trouble. I just put the paver stones directly on the grass and it looked really level to me. And I checked it a little bit, but I didn't check it thoroughly. I moved the hot tub there got it working, filled it up with water, and noticed it was about two inches higher on one side than it was on the other. That's a problem for two reasons. One, it's not very enjoyable if the water is kind of leaning one way and you feel like you're in the Titanic and you're just missing those violin players. But more importantly, when the hot tub isn't level, it can put undue stress on the frame. The frame is basically made of two by fours underneath here. And it's holding upwards of 5,000 gallons once you get water and people in your hot tub. It's a lot, a lot of weight. And the hot tub is designed to structurally hold that weight by being perfectly level. 
And when it's not perfectly level, it can put undue amounts of stress on certain specific parts of that frame. And a 2x4 is not really all that strong. It's not that hard to make it crack, especially when we're talking about upwards of 5,000 pounds. So it's really, really important that you level it. I did level mine. I ended up using shims. And uh, if you don't know what a shim is, a shim would typically be like a little wedge. It could be wood or it could be other materials as well. Uh, I ended up finding a favorite shim on Amazon. You can get a set of them for like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. They're really inexpensive. However, do be aware that some brands don't want you to use shims. And Jacuzzi is one of those. So if your hot tub is still under warranty, you're not going to want to do that because that could void the warranty. But shims can be a, a great way to go. You just have to be very careful about where you put them. Some hot tubs come with what they call shim points. In other words, points where it's specifically designed for a shim to go, to just kind of nudge it up a little bit. And you can use a rubber mallet typically to hammer those shims into place. Um, but you don't want to do put too much stress in one place because again we're talking about a two by four in most cases and it could crack if you shimmed it up too high in one particular place where the weight was just bearing down on it like that so you do want to be very careful about where you're shimming use as few as possible and just shim it up a little bit ideally if it's way off you're gonna want to redo that foundation though so I don't have any official shims on me at the moment, but I kind of wanted to give you a visual idea of what I'm talking about. I also don't have any 2x4s handy, but I do have this board. So let's just say that this is the bottom of part of the frame of your hot tub. Like I said, usually it probably would be a 2x4. This is a little bit bigger than that, but it still suffices. And let's say the whole hot tub is low on this side, so we want to shim it up. And you would typically have something more wedge-shaped, like a triangle, to kind of wedge in under this side to kind of bring it up, this side up a little bit. And that way it's going to be more level. Uh, you would definitely want to have a level handy that you place here just to kind of make sure that it's perfectly level. But the shim is just going to kind of go in under this edge. Again, a rubber mallet, if you've got a triangular-shaped uh, shim, a rubber mallet's a great way just to hammer that into place. But what I was talking about earlier, like let's say you, you were way off and you put like a really big shim right here. This is obviously a way, way big exaggeration. But um, for the purposes of what I'm going to show you, I think it, it suffices. So now you've got all of that 5,000 pounds of your hot tub and you've got a gigantic shim on this side, it's putting a huge amount of weight right there in that middle part. This, this board is not going to be able to take that weight if you jack it way up like that. You're putting an undue amount of stress right there and eventually it's going to crack. And then you've got a ruined hot tub on your hands. So not only can you not use it, but now you have to replace it or spend a ton of money fixing it up. So you want to make sure you shim as little as possible. And if your hot tub is too far off, go ahead and take the time and the trouble to get that ground more level before you do anything else and before you put the hot tub down. The shim should just be to do minor, minor adjustments. Once again, everyone, my name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com. I hope this video helped you today. It's totally possible to put a hot tub down on paver stones. It's a very inexpensive way to go. You can buy enough pavers for about 150 bucks, maybe a little bit of sand, a little bit of gravel, and a little bit of elbow grease, and you've got a great foundation for your hot tub that's far less expensive than pouring concrete and a lot easier to deal with than trying to put it on a wooden deck and figure out if you've got enough supports underneath the deck to take the weight of the hot tub. Anyway, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up for this video. It's a great signal to YouTube that this is a decent video and they're gonna show it to a lot more people the more times you give me a thumbs up. Also smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button. That way you get notified of the next time I put out a video. I'm putting out new videos every week and I know there's something I'm gonna cover in a video that you're gonna need help with. So leave me a comment down below too if you have an idea for a future video or a question about hot tubs. And I'll see you in the next one.